it's a uh, third here and this tutorial is going to be on modeling a basic tree now I know floorboard did one but this is my variation of it and uh, they're both good ways I guess but uh, this is just how I do it okay uh, we're just going to start out with a uh, cube and you're going to go into side view so go view side and you want to scale it in on the y-axis and same with the uh, x to get like a straight line this is going to be like the trunk go back to the side view now I'm not going to model the whole tree but uh, I'll do just like a little plant I guess okay once you've got that you might want to squish it down too. Now you want to go into edit mode, so hit tab to go into edit mode. Hit A to deselect it. Now press B to grab the top vertices or select the top vertices. Then uh, extrude them by hitting E and extrude region. Then uh, left click, press S to size it down. Keep on doing that and just keep extruding it and you can use the arrows to bring it over or keep it there like that until you get to about that size like that and then that's just going to be the trunk now to do the leaves we're going to go over here just beside it and uh, click to center the, or not center, just to point the cursor. And we're going to go hit spacebar, add mesh plane, and go from view top, so you can see it. Hit tab, go into edit mode, and hit A. And then uh, select these vertices uh, by right clicking and moving them up with the arrows, and just uh, bring them in kind of like that now you can hit K loop cut to loop cut it down the middle and then click and uh, then you have an extra vertice or a couple vertices there so you can drag those up with the arrows like that and these ones in kind of like that also uh, you might want to cut uh, loop cut it right in the middle too right there so you can drag these ones out and that looks like a pretty good leaf right there now you'll see it's pretty big compared to that so we're gonna go out uh, one more thing before we do this though to give it more of a shape click the middle vertice and just drag it up a bit so it looks like it's curved in now I hit tab to go out of edit mode size it down by hitting S now that's not a very big tree but I'm just gonna keep it like that size okay now we're gonna do the branches so go into side view again with the side add mesh cube again size it down and go into edit mode uh, hit A and then do the same thing for the or the trunk but uh, a little bit uh, smaller and straighter kind of so select the top vertices extrude region keep on doing this you can curve it a little bit just like that and if it's too big at the bottom just size down these ones okay size that down Now we are just going to add the leaves to this. So grab the leaf and drag it right up to it. So it's uh, a little bit into it. Just a little bit. Like that much. And if it's too big still size it down because it does look a little bit big. Okay. Now we want to Alt D. Press Alt D. And right mouse button to snap it back. 
and uh, it'll have a duplicate, and we're just going to use the duplicate to use for the other leaves. So keep doing that and make a whole bunch of leaves just for the all the way up here, and then when you get you want to do like the other side or something, uh, rotate it around. Pretty simple and just do that for the whole thing okay and just to uh, make it not look so ordered you can uh, rotate these ones in different angles to make it look more messy I guess like that okay now we're going to select all of these in this area, all of these uh, meshes or objects. So hold down B, select them all. Okay, now that they're all selected, we want to control P and make parent. So now that we can move it, or now we can move it around without the leaves staying there. Okay, now we're going to want to rotate it out and maybe rotate it that way and once you have you still have to have all of them selected but hit alt D again and just for like the leaves we're gonna just do this a whole bunch of times don't exactly put them right against the trunk of the tree yet just do this a whole bunch of times bring them over to the other side okay just like that now you have a whole bunch of branches to add to the tree. So you can grab them individually and you get the point. You just put them on the tree uh, like that. If your uh, leaves are too big or trunk is too big or branches, just size it down. And for these ones, rotate it. I'm just going to pause this for this part. Okay, uh, I've got all the branches on here. Now, it's looking a little bit square, so we're going to just add a subsurf modifier to all the branches and the trunk of the tree and everything. So select first the tree part, the main part, and go to Add Modifier and Subsurf. And you can put up the levels. I'm just going to keep it at 1. Also, uh, hit set smooth to make it more smooth. And same with the branches. Just do all that. It applies them uh, one by one instead of uh, all at once. So, okay, and hit set smooth for these two and that's pretty much finished. Uh, you can also color it. Remember this isn't a full tree. It's just um, you can use this method for creating a full tree. Also um, to make it look more realistic the leaves could be uh, rotated in different angles too. But just to add a color you can add like green for the leaves and then brown the tree color and branches okay just like that and it's it's looking okay uh, you might want to also add a uh, texture like a normal texture to the leaves like a uh, clouds or something like that put it down to like 40 and make it object and norm put that up and make the color green and when you render this it'll uh, look better just like that so it's not exactly a full tree but you get the method of this way also check out Floorboard 1's tutorials.
and check out Drowning Bodacious's video channel on YouTube. Forgot to mention that. So I don't know if I'm saying that right. Right? Drowning Bodacious? Okay.